I'm Dr. Reckus. I am a robotic, bariatric, and general surgeon in Bradenton, Florida, and today I wanted to talk about the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a very important organ for surgeons. It is a very commonly operated on organ, and I want to talk a little bit about the symptoms of having issues with your gallbladder, how the surgery is done, uh, where the gallbladder is located, and just give you a little overall um, glimpse into what we deal with as surgeons. So in order to understand what the gallbladder does, you kind of have to understand uh, where the gallbladder is. So let's go over a little bit of that uh, anatomy. So when you look at the abdomen of someone, um, the gallbladder is located over here, kind of in the right upper quadrant underneath the liver. And surgery's changed a lot. Um, since I started performing these surgeries robotically, we usually only do three little incisions to help remove the gallbladder from patients. But if you go back, um, years ago, this used to be a very big, complicated surgery with a big scar that could be, you know, about 15 to 20 centimeters in size. So instead of doing it this way, having the use of a robotic platform really tends to help. So again, surgical scars kind of look something like that. So. Let's get a closer look at the gallbladder and um, what it actually looks like and where it is. So the gallbladder is located over here, just underneath your rib cage on the right side. And your liver sits here, and just underneath the liver, this little green guy here, is your gallbladder. And if you look at the gallbladder, you see it's not very big. It's almost the size of your thumb. But what can happen, we can have a lot of problems with the gallbladder. And when people usually complain of issues with their gallbladder, they complain of what we call right upper quadrant pain because the gallbladder lives in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. They can have issues like nausea, vomiting, bloating after they eat. Specifically, they can have things called um, biliary dyskinesia where they get bloated, where their gallbladder fills up with bile and doesn't um, empty the bile so patients can get discomfort when they eat, especially fatty, greasy foods. So there's all kinds of things that we think about when we talk about um, issues with the gallbladder. Specifically, we worry about gallstones. So gallstones are um, little stones that can occur in the gallbladder, and when they pass down through what we call the cystic duct, they can cause significant pain, and sometimes they can actually block up the gallbladder, um, and they can block up the liver, causing a lot of issues. I mean, people can get fevers and a bad infection. So as a surgeon, what do we do? Well, it's important to know a couple things. You don't need a gallbladder to survive. You can't have a perfectly normal life without your gallbladder. And our job as a surgeon is to go in and safely remove the gallbladder. And the way we do that is basically we make little cuts. And first thing we do is we cut the cystic duct, which is a little duct that feeds the liver. Um, sorry, it feeds the bile that goes into the gallbladder. We cut the duct here, and then we separate the gallbladder from the surrounding areas. Now, usually the surgery um, is a very safe surgery. The wrists are very, very low, um, and a lot of times now patients are going home the same day after the surgery. So once the gallbladder is removed, your body still makes bile, and bile is an important um, liquid that your body makes to help digest fat, digest um, fatty meals, and break down lipids. Um, so your body still makes bile from your liver, and instead of getting stored in the gallbladder here, it gets just pushed directly into your uh, duodenum. So again, um, I want to just point out that these surgeries are very common. The gallbladder is a very tricky organ uh, because it does cause so many issues with our patients. Um, but overall, uh, it is a organ that is uh, a very safe organ to operate in experienced hands, and I really feel that uh, doing this in a minimally invasive way with small little, inc so small little incisions has helped a lot. So that's a little background on the gallbladder.